Turn to Northwest Indiana after dozens of dead birds turn up by a lake. CBS 2's Mercer Power reports people are now being asked to stay away. That goose was alive yesterday swimming. Little did the Hammond fisherman behind the camera know he'd find dozens more. Look at it now. So far, Leonard Morris has counted over 30 dead waterfowl in the canal of Wolf Lake. They were actually all along the shoreline here, all the way to up along the bridge. Some of them ducks, most of them Canada geese, either lying on the ice or floating lifeless in the water. Nothing was done, so that's when I start pulling uh, geese out of the water and piling them up. And then the city workers came and took them. The mysterious deaths and the possible explanations are stirring a lively debate. Food or a chemical kill? You know, I'm not really too sure. Hammond's Indiana is proudly industrial, but there is a fractured trust between some of the residents and the plants that neighbor them. We had lead poisoning, cadmium poisoning, he, uh, swans dying on the lake. That was years ago on the next lake over, Lake George. But she does wonder if we're seeing repeated history. One local wildlife agent in the area says they've rescued dozens of dehydrated geese. They say it's possible the deaths are weather related. Other wildlife agencies tell me that Iowa has been seeing its own share of sick and dying geese from an illness like avian cholera. Residents have differing guesses. They all hope to find an answer soon. I don't want to see any animals die, but I mean, you know, if it's a natural cause, there's nothing we can do. If it's a, a, because of the weather, there's nothing we can do. But if it's because of something else, and they're being polluted, I don't believe it's right. In Hammond, Marissa Parra, CBS 2 News. Wildlife experts are asking the public to avoid the area where the birds were found while the investigation continues. Thousands of people